Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to set up an Apache server on your Windows PC. What this is going to allow you to do is share your files from one PC to another PC over the internet. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our internet browser and go to the Apache website. We're going to scroll down and select Windows 32 binary. Um, it's the MSI, MSI installer and you can just click on the link and install the MSI file and then once that's done installing or loading you can double click on the icon and actually install Apache so it's going to bring up um, the server information page and ask you for your network domain that's just going to be localhost and the server name is also going to be localhost and then your email address can be anything you don't need to put in a real one and under install apache http server select for all users on port 80 now if you want to use apache to be able to um, attach it to your domain so other people can go on your server around the world you're going to have to port forward port 80 and if you don't know how to do that, I can post a link below that will hopefully help you with that. So if you just want to use this on your local wireless connection, so only PCs connected to your wireless router can use it, then you don't have to forward 80. If you want anyone ar around the world to be able to access it, you have to uh, port forward port 80. So after you've selected that, click next. And click next again and hit install and now this might take a while to install depending on how fast your computer is okay and it says that Apache's installed successfully so the next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna find your IP address so we're gonna go into the start menu and type in CMD press enter and now under this type in ipconfig slash all it should show your IPv4 address right now mine's saying that it's 192 dot one six eight dot two dot seven so you're gonna wanna copy that down or remember it in your head and next we're gonna go to our start menu and go to your computer local disk program files and then click on Apache Software Foundation Apache 2.2 and now double click on conf and then open up HTTPD scroll down and under where it says listen you're gonna to wanna to enter that IP address so in my case it's gonna be 192.168.2.7 and make sure that this 80 at the end stays there but put a colon between the last digit of your IP address and the um, port 80 text and then after you do that click file and save and we can exit out of notepad now the next thing that we're gonna want to do is allow Apache through your Windows firewall so we're gonna go to start and type in Windows firewall and it shows up right here you can click that and then click on allow a program or feature through Windows firewall and I already have my Apache server set up on here so I'm just gonna remove it just to show you guys how to do it so what we're gonna do is click on allow another program and the Apache program isn't gonna be on this list so we're gonna have to click browse and you're gonna have to go in and find where you installed Apache which it should be under your computer local disk program files Apache Software Foundation, Apache 
and then click on bin and then right here it shows httpd that is the um, application to start Apache so we can click open and then it shows up on the list so you can select it and press add and now it sh as you can see it showed up on this list and it has home slash work checked and we also want to check public as well and now press OK so now we should be ready to check and see if our Apache server is connected so what we're going to want to do is open up our internet browser and just type in localhost and press enter and it says right here that it worked so that means our Apache server is up and running um, if you want to find out um, your IP address to use to connect to your domain name so anyone can access this around the world you're going to want to go to a website that can find your IP I'll post one below and if you want to know how to get files into um, the Apache server so you can access them from any computer you're going to want to go back into your program files and go back into the Apache um, folder and then where it says htdocs you're gonna put anything in here that you want to show up on this list so I'll just give you guys a quick example I'll put one of my YouTube videos in there and I'm gonna delete the index file so now as you can see under htdocs I have one of my YouTube videos inside of it so now that I put that into the right folder we're gonna type in our IP address that we found under the command prompt and hit enter and now it says index of slash and now as you can see my um, YouTube video is inside of my Apache server and now if I went to another computer on my wireless connection if I typed in 192.168.2.7 this would show up on that other computer as well and I could watch it and remember your IP address up here might be different and you might not have it set to stay the same every time your inter your computer inter sorry your computer accesses the internet so this might always be changing so you might have to go in to your command prompt every time you get on the internet and see and double check that it is the same IP address if it's not you're gonna have to go back into that um, text file that I showed you and change this number so then after you do this this is the point in which you're going to want to find your static IP address and use that to connect it to your domain if you have one I don't have one so I'm not going to do that um, I can post a link below showing you how to do that if I can find one alright guys if you like this video be sure to comment like or subscribe below and if you missed my last two videos one of them shows how to hack into a wireless network and the other one shows how to hack into someone's windows account without their password also, tell me how you guys like the new outro to this video, and as always, have a good day, and I'll talk to you guys later.